Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Today's video is incredibly serious and it's a very, it's, it's a topic that's near and dear to me in my heart because it's something that I myself am going through at the moment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think human beings, I think humanity has disappointed me day after day. And I, I often wonder how much can humanity disappoint me? And lo and behold, it's like a Guinness Book of World Records every month, we can go lower. So ladies and gentlemen, this video has been floating around on the internet, okay? It's been a pretty viral video at this point. If you ever follow r slash public freakouts or anything like that, this is a Reddit board where you'll find actual, you know, public freakouts. Now, in this case, you had a video that I think most people on the internet, most normal, like rational individuals have realized they're on the side of this individual. Now, basically what's happened in this 56 second video is this individual, all right, is working at like 3 a.m. at a Holiday Inn. I'm actually not going to show this video in its entirety at all. I'm not even going to play it really. I'm going to paraphrase and discuss certain snippets of it because it's actually quite a disturbing video to watch. Um, and I'm not going to show it because it's, it's, it, 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 it is. Is disturbing. If you want to go seek it out, it's viral. It's out there. I'm not going to bother doing it here. But basically, this individual is working at 3 a.m. at a Holiday Inn, all right, trying to check somebody in using the computer. The system is having an issue, right? So the actual person who's filming this whole thing, who's the customer, uh, realizes this person hits the monitor or at least punches the computer. And they're like, why are you taking your anger out on that? Are you taking your anger out on me? Things like that. It's completely stupid. Goading this individual to the point where later on, you know, he's trying to do his job literally starts punching the actual monitor because he's getting frustrated with this nonsense to begin with. And once he's realized that all of this is going on, he moves further to the back, right? He leaves the area. Now you think that he's off the screen. He's, he's trying to basically tell this degenerate shitbag that's recording him like, Hey, don't bother recording me. Don't do it. What do you think this person does? He goes back to film this individual who's trying to be by themselves and recompose their, themselves at this point. Now, this is one of those scenarios where like this, this person is having a bad day, okay? If you ever see somebody like this, please, please go up to them and tell them it's going to be okay, all right? Don't fucking record them, all right? Just so you can get likes on the internet because that's fucking stupid. Okay, go up and tell them that things are going to be okay. If they don't like to be touched, just tell them from afar that things are going to be okay. It's common human decency, all right? It shouldn't be that difficult to emulate in reality, all right? Simple as that. Now, this has unfortunately gone really bad for this individual. Usually a public freakout video, it's like topic for the week and it's pretty much done. People move on. But it wasn't going to end like that, okay? Because there have been actual bad actors on the situation that have contributed to this individual's harassment. <sighs> now, Tariq Nasheed, I'm going to give him a little bit of a, I'm going to give him just, just a little mention. All right, Tariq Nasheed is a well-known race baiter who basically profiteers off of making society look worse than it actually is. Um, this is a person whose entire grift is basically aggravating people uh, and separating them based on racial characteristics. Tariq Nasheed, I would say, is probably like a D-tier fucking troll. His audience consists of known anti-vaxxers, I'm pretty sure, and individuals that believe in the 5G conspiracy theories, okay? Literal, you know, fucking brain-dead individuals. Now, if you look into Tariq Nasheed, he basically signal-boosted this and basically made this a race issue. He said a white Holiday Inn Express worker has a nervous breakdown after he got scolded by a black customer because of a mistake in the reservation system. Look, first off, this is a fucking bullshit statement too. People who make this about race, I'm going to shut you down right fucking now, okay? You could replace this with Mexican, you could replace this with black, you could replace this with Indian, you could replace this with a fucking alien from Jupiter, and it would not change that this is a Holiday Inn Express worker, okay, <laughs> who literally is dealing with a shitty back-end system. What the fuck do you want this person to do? You want him to go to the back-end? You want him to fucking fuck around with the Linux system they have running, okay? You want him to fuck around and make it better? You want him to do something that he obviously can't? Is that what you're trying to do? All right, because clearly, if you've ever worked in this service industry, especially at a Holiday Inn, this isn't Microsoft, guy, all right? They're going to have a slow system. Sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it's not going to work. I have dealt with people like this. You know what I tell them? I'm like, all right, man, computers are slow. I can't do anything. I will wait, okay? You know, you call up. 
Call up the service department. Call up corporate. They'll solve your issue. The actual employee who's getting paid jack shit isn't going to be able to do anything. But he makes it a race issue when it so obviously isn't. And this, in turn, because you make it such a charged issue when you involve race and things like that, people are going to harass him because they're actual dicks. To the point where this individual is not feeling too good, okay? They're going through a lot right now. You know, normally when the internet mob comes after you, like, if you come after me, I don't care okay look i'm a guy that upgrades vms and I, I i innovate the next vm trend pretty much at this point you know in my own little world i live in that bubble so if you if you want to talk shit to me i really don't care cool you know it is what it is no skin off my back but for the average person that doesn't deal with the internet well all right they're gonna they're gonna go through a lot now this individual apparently actually has you know some mental issues that's me. This is one of their posts. Yes, I have BPD. This is allegedly, you know, this person's statement here with schizoactive tendencies. <laughs> This is not one of my best moments. Mental illness is real and it can literally destroy lives. All I wanted to do was help them, which I couldn't because at that point my hands were tied. I'm not a manager, but an overworked... If they if they pressure me and they try to argue with me, I don't know how to handle it usually, okay? Yeah, it's in the service industry. It sucks. Thankfully, this was a huge wake-up call. Just stop being in this industry. It took five years to break me out of hospitality because I've just had enough. Please value yourself. Love yourself. They later on said, that's me. They, they were constantly replying to people who kept posting this on Public Freakout, right? Um, and I believe the mods were dealing with this whole situation. He later says that the actual 5'5 five five bald gentleman behind the camera didn't record was the fact that he called me a, you know, a, a homophobic slur for an associate's mistake. He was aggressive, fishing for a reaction. He sure got it. Now, if you watch that 56 second video, conveniently... There is no context in the beginning, not like 10, 15, 20 seconds of context. Like if the context was that this person, the employee was being a dick, I'd be on the customer side, but the customer didn't do that. They clearly had to have been fishing for a reaction because they're not giving you the 20, 30 seconds before the video. They're not giving you the context. They're literally showing you when the employee is losing their mind. So clearly from the context that I've witnessed so far, the actual customer is in the wrong. You don't film somebody who's going through a bad fucking day for internet likes and views. Okay, that's some bullshit. Now, turning this into a race issue from Tariq Nasheed's angle is pretty shitty because now you have a lot of actual racist individuals who now conflate this. Like, look at all, look, now now they're feeding into the racist trap too. Now, now Tariq Nasheed is representing the black people publicly, you know, in a poor light when that really shouldn't be the case. Tariq Nasheed is a bargain bin content creator who literally race baits. Nobody should pay this dipshit any attention. Now, you also got, you know, Freddie Gibbs, all right, big check mark on Twitter. Somebody make sure this white boy don't have a gun. Prayer sign, all right, again, <laughs> he's trying to make a joke out of a situation. Freddie Gibbs, you're like almost 40 years old, okay? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, okay? Cirque de it's not time to join Cirque de Soleil, bro, okay? I know you want to be the goddamn port jester of the internet for the week, but chill out with this. You know, this is an important video, like I said in the beginning, because this is something that I'm really passionate about, okay? It seems like the internet has this weird thing with mental health, right? Everyone's like, everyone always on the internet is like, we got to really care about mental health. Mental health is important. And then at the same time, the same check marks, the same idiots on the internet will just conveniently joke about it, okay? This is why mental health is a stigmatized thing, okay? This is why people don't come out and talk about it, all right? Now, this person went through a bad day. I think the best way to handle it is to tell you guys, I've also been through bad days, okay? There was a time way back... A few years ago, this was right after I paid my taxes. Um, you know, I went from the accountant and there's a bar that I usually go after I pay the taxes. It's close to the accountant. I go there for a drink. And I remember the video I uploaded that day too. It was virus investigations and it had to do with Counter-Strike, right? I, I think I'll flash the video up on the screen uh, as I'm talking about this. And it was that day when I went to the bar that I ordered an alcoholic beverage because usually I bottle things up. It's not healthy. And I still do. It's not healthy. I was drinking, which is not what you want to be doing when you're bottling things up. Eventually, when you bottle shit up, you break down. I've broken down. Not like this, but I've broken down to the point where I have tears running down my cheeks, okay? It's not my proudest moments, but it happens, okay? And, you know, it's not the only time that it's ever happened to me. I've had plenty of times, even now with the pandemic, which this is probably one of the things contributing to this breakdown too, to this person's bad day. Right now, everyone's having bad days, okay? People are going through a lot. But when that happened to me back then at the bar, there was an individual by the name of Matt who is a 911 responder part-time. I remember that. And he came 
and he gave me a little hug and he said, Hey man, it's all going to be good. It's all going to be fine. That's all he said. You know, he, he didn't, you know, it's not like he magically flipped the world overnight and made things better, but just knowing that another human being was compassionate enough to come close and say, Hey, it's going to be good. Somebody patting you on the back, at least to me was enough for me to feel better in that moment. Yeah, things weren't fixed. Things weren't better. I was going through a lot of the time, but you know what? Just for somebody to come over there for like five seconds to make me feel better was all I needed. This is why people don't like to talk about the mental health angle, okay? Because you got all these people conflating it, making fun of it, being assholes about it, and there's nothing good done out of it. You put this person in a worse mental situation than when it just began. So the fact that there are people trying to like still make jokes about it, or some people trying to still defend it or turn it into a thing at this point is just goddamn disgusting and it needs to stop at this point twitter i don't know what's up with your policies i don't know if you like to defend the check marks or whatever but why why are you letting Tariq just get away why are you letting freddie get you, you know this this should be taken down because you are contributing to the harassment you know at the end of the day i know this person's going through a fair bit and i don't ask a lot from the community over here um but I want to ask you, if you do come across any individuals like this or this person in specific, please, please give them some love. Please tell them things are going to be okay. That's all I ask from the Some Ordinary Gamers community. I don't want you to do anything above and beyond. I just want you, if you ever see anybody going through this, please, please, for the love of God, just tell them it's going to be okay. Please, for the love of God, just be there for them. That's all I ask. It's basic. It's it, You don't need to spend any money to do it either. It's just free. You can go and do it to anybody. All right? Simple as that. That's what, that, that's what it's all about. You know, there's part of me that's pessimistic. All right? I like to... I, I, I wake up and a big chunk of me believes that, you know, things are all bad. Um... You know, I was looking at an Exit Monday article, you know, one of those deep web, like, you know, how the world ends article. And it was like, hey, the world's going to end when humanity, you know, has a humanity goes crazy. Right. And anyways, I look at the world and, and there's a pessimistic bone in me that thinks that people do bad things and there's a lot of bad in the world. But there's a part of me. All right. That still keeps me on this planet that gives me the energy to get out of bed every day. All right. And that's because I know that for every video that exists of just pure hell of pure, terrible human, like, you know, parts for, 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 hu for terrible humanity, effectively, there's a hundred events that never get recorded, never get posted of human beings actually being good to one another. And I like to believe that every single day as hard as I can. Sometimes I have to lie to myself to believe that, but most times I like to believe it. Okay. There's a lot of good in this world. And if there's one thing to understand from this situation, there's two takeaways from this. A, it's we got to treat mental health seriously because it is something that uh, it is something that needs to not be stigmatized. And mental health is one of those important aspects where, like, if you have bad mental health, you'll die from it. All right. Simple as that. We need to make sure that we're there for people that are going through a bad day in bad mental states. And the second takeaway out of this is that we just... <sighs> We just need to, we, we need to be better to one another. We need, we need to, we need to spread more good. Okay. And I know that sounds cheesy and that sounds really hallmarky to say, but as a community, every time we see stuff like this, we have to band together to make sure that we offset it by doing some nice things to one another, by being there for people. Okay. The most simplest shit imaginable. So yeah, at the end of the day, I just wanted to talk about this because it has angered me to the point where like, I literally feel blood boiling and, uh, you know, I want to spread some good message out of it. For all these people who didn't give a shit, spread this dude's video and directed harassment towards him. I want the community here to at least spread some positivity to everyone involved over here, especially to the person who went through a bad day. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and uh, I'm out.